Before praying, the Pope addressed a few words to all Christians so they could remember why he proposed this initiative. Cari fratelli e sorelle, oggi ci siamo dati appuntamento, tutti i cristiani del mondo, per pregare insieme il Padre nostro, la preghiera che Gesù ci ha insegnato. Come figli fiduciosi ci rivolgiamo al Padre, lo facciamo tutti i giorni, più volte al giorno, ma in questo momento vogliamo implorare misericordia per l'umanità, duramente provata dalla pandemia di coronavirus. E lo facciamo insieme, cristiani di ogni chiesa e comunità, di ogni tradizione, da ogni età, lingua e nazione. Pater Noster, chi è in Celis, santificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, Fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. The Pope prayed for the sick, their families, doctors, nurses, volunteers, law enforcement, and authorities. The prayer took place in the room where he normally receives official visits. It's a place where Christians of other denominations are always present. In fact, on his desk is a photo of when he met with the Patriarch Bartholomew of Constantinople. He participated from the Patriarchate headquarters in Istanbul. E preghiamo tutti insieme questo pomeriggio, questo mezzogiorno, eh, secondo eh, l'invito e la proposta di Sua Santità il Papa, eh, con eh, il Padre Noster, invocando la grazia eh, del nostro Padre Celeste. The idea of calling all Christians to pray their common prayer was launched last Sunday by surprise at the end of the Angelus. Despite the coronavirus in Italy, every journalist at Rome Reports continues working each day to bring the latest news straight to your home. There are many unable to leave their house and we give them the opportunity to experience Rome Reports Premium. Go to romereports.tv to get one free month of our documentaries, news stories and current information. Download Rome Reports Premium for free now on your phone or TV and enjoy all the exclusive content today. Share this information with those you love most so news from Rome can reach every living room all around the world.